So we are two weeks in now to Maz having had his stem cell treatment and um, he had a really terrible time coming back from the vets on the journey. They'd given him some um, low dose ketamine to um, for wind up pain, but it really made him hallucinate. Um, so I'm Dr. Helen. I'm an emergency medicine doctor and also a certified animal aromatherapy specialist. And I love to use an integrative approach to my health and my pets and help educate people do this, to do the same. So in my role as an emergency medicine doctor, we use ketamine a lot. So I was very aware of what I was seeing in Maz is very much the sort of thing I can see in some of my patients. His eyes were out and stalked. He looked like he was in a K-hole, hallucinating. He looked very uncomfortable. And I think he doesn't like being in vehicles. Um, it can make him anxious. And I think as soon as I started the engine, it started to trigger it. Um, so we drove for about 30 minutes. He'd also, he's also had some trazodone and it just was not calming him at all. Now, I wasn't supposed to be using essential oils with him because there was a concern that they could interfere with the stem cell treatment. But when you've got a dog that's literally screaming um, and you've got to do something. So I pulled up across someone's drive. I got my little essential oils out that he'd been having um pre his stem cell um, and I massaged him with them I did them on his ears added a couple of others buckley as well so that's just um under the tongue um and literally within 10 minutes of doing that he just was like and for the rest of the four hour journey, he was completely and utterly calm. When we got home, he was calm. He had another little episode that evening, um, put the oils on. It took like just a couple of minutes to calm him that time. And then another episode at night um, and he's been soothed. So he's never having ketamine again. Um, and he's been doing really well. Um, but about three, four days ago, he started to have what I think is breakthrough pain because he's on quite a few painkillers um and again i've been using my essential oils to just soothe him and keep him comfortable um because he's just been very very agitated um so it's re i really like the fact that i've been able to find things um that i use that i can just you know help keep him calm and soothed um but he's and this morning so i've just started back on the oils um because he's needed this extra support um, and this morning I was really really encouraged because he I he brought him in from the garden and I put his food down in his bed because um, I was trying to I'm trying to encourage him to move more and he actually just did a little one of his little skippity hop jumps to his bed which was lovely to see and I thought brilliant we've um, we've actually really made progress these last few days so Onwards and upwards, I hope. We probably won't make much progress today because it's really peeing down outside and he doesn't like being in the rain. But um, stay tuned and I'll keep you, pro you, keep you posted. If you've got a senior dog and you would like some health and wellness tips for them, just pop senior dog below and tell me about them and I will send you the link to my free handout. I've also got a healthful dog challenge coming up as well that starts on the 2nd of January. Um, pop to the link in my bio um and um or comment below that you want to join and i will send you the link for that group as well so he's he's just had his oils applied and he's with light therapy and now he is ready to snooze i think stay safe stay well bye